Gamers of Reddit, what is your biggest gaming confession? When I was 15 I hid under the bed. So my mum though I left for school. Then spent the whole day playing RuneScape. My man. Slow down. In high school I lied to a girl I was dating and told her I was going on a family trip to visit relatives for a week. In reality, I had just hit level 60 in WoW and wanted to get in on a week of uninterrupted raiding. My ex's roommate told his GF he was cheating on her, he wasn't, so she would break up with him and he could continue running arenas. To all the burning crusade and wrath era healers, I'm sorry for standing in the fire. I like to play MMORPGs, but I hate interacting with other players. I think that's why World of Warcraft continues to be popular. They took an MMORPG, and over the years, have turned it into a pretty easy game to experience alone. You can quest slash level solo. Almost all world quests can be done alone. And if you want to do dungeons or aids you can hop into LFG slash LFR and no one really talks to each other anyway. You can effectively experience everything the game has to offer without dealing with anyone now. I enjoyed WoW more when there wasn't group finder and you had to go through the process. Probably just because I thought it was fun and there was usually some hilarious interactions. Your team could be a shichao and you couldn't just leave it without wasting time getting another group. So you just stuck through it. I'm really bad at playing morally corrupt characters in RPGs. Anytime I try to do an evil character in Skyrim or Fallout I just start feeling bad for everyone. I can't even play as a greedy character and just end up refusing payment for helping all the slaves I've rescued. Same problem. I'm going to replay this game with an evil character this time to see how it's different. Then I feel guilty after luring that insane wood elf in oblivion out into the woods to murder him because he's mentally ill and it's probably not really his fault he's like that. Just look at the flowers Lenny. Sometimes I'll watch a YouTube video on how to defeat an enemy if the enemy keeps defeating me. Same here. Similarly with puzzles. It gets to a point where you're just frustrated and you'll be happier about not having to deal with it any more than the feeling of achievement for overcoming it. Yeah. Kind of my mentality is that ultimately, I buy the game to have fun. If a certain enemy or puzzle is overwhelmingly frustrating to me, then I'm not having fun. I don't advocate for reading a complete walkthrough from the beginning, but I can't fault someone for wanting to get past an annoying part. There was a Buffy the Vampire Slayer game for the original Xbox. My wife, girlfriend then, loved Buffy and the game. One day she was away at class, and I was hanging out and playing with her roommates, playing the game. Eusicus, and we discovered, if you plugged controllers into ports 224, you could control the bad guys. Close bracket. So we set it up. She came home. We didn't tell her our findings. She was playing. And we were doing stupid and crazy sugar with the vampires and other bad guys. She was too into the game to notice us playing too. Especially when the players in her only player game were doing stupid suga like fighting each other and committing. Suicide by jumping off cliffs and other things. Oh my god it was hilarious to watch her lose her shit. My confession is that it was the most fun I ever had in a video game at her expense. When I was a kid and LAN was done with those huge ass monitors and desktop PCS. My friend and I would play Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. We'd set up after school Friday and pretend to go to bed at 11pm. Then sneak out of bed, rip open some bagged goodies and play until the sun came up and go to bed before our parents woke up. This was shortly before our internet was good enough to play online. So we played locally. I was hosting the server and we had played for a couple of weeks at which point I was getting bored with not getting enough loot. While setting up one weekend, I went online and found a so-called trainer that could be used to change drop rates, rarity, and XP gain. I feigned server problems at some point during the evening. We opened local server with hacks enabled and denied having done anything when we started getting runes, weapons and armor we'd never seen drop in Act 3, Nightmare Before. It was fun, but I realized we couldn't keep playing like that, so I disabled them. After only a few minutes, but it was too late for it not to become, that one time we got super lucky with the loot in Act 3, my friend told all our other friends, and I had to play along, and learn till we eventually moved on to other games. 
No one ever doubted me slash us after the initial confusion from my friend. I would do the same. But I lived a couple miles from my friend's house. W. Holothus. Ted. And I'd walk home. After staying up all night. GHT. My parents always made it a point of making me stay awake the whole day and do yard work for a few hours after I spent the night anywhere. Eh, so I'd often hallucinate based on the game I stayed up playing the night before. Or, I still remember driving home from the store with my mom after getting groceries and seeing an ultralisk pop out of a side road onto the street we were driving on. Oh. When I claim I've played a game what I actually mean is that I spent hours and hours playing around with the character creator, making celebrities, anim, myself and or my cat, and then played the actual game for like 2 seconds after that. I've never told anybody this. Whilst playing League of Legends one of my friends said they were going to get a name change. I knew it wouldn't last as their names never do. They always go back to their original one. So I made a new account with their original username. A couple of weeks later they were complaining about the fact they couldn't change it back. I stayed quiet. This is brilliant. I have a friend W. Howlett is exactly the same and need to try this out. Now. I swore on a Christian Minecraft server. The police have been notified and your account will be terminated shortly. Freaking heck. Incoming wall of text. I was addicted to World of Warcraft. And when I say addicted. I don't mean I made a point to play it whenever I could. Him talking full on hurtful longing for my PC when I was away. From the end of the Lich King expansion to the second raid tier in Mists of Pandaria. Nothing stopped me from playing. It took a force of nature to get me out of my room for something other than a bathroom break. I remember waking up at 7am on a Friday and not moving from my chair besides to use the restroom until 3 Saturday. I then slept for about 4 hours and repeated this process for about 5 days and only broke when I had to work because I needed to pay my sub when I did eat it was hot pockets, pop tarts, etc. That could be easily grabbed and consumed without taking away precious wo w time. Bathing was nearly forgotten as I worked part time and mostly in the back stocking on my own. When I did go to work all I did was complain I wasn't home raiding or leveling or farming. I would call off semi-frequently when a new tier came out. A new dungeon. Hell even when I was just in a groove of playing it call in sick. I had hardly any friends. Even the guild I main tanked for I only regularly talked with maybe 3 to 4 of them. Kuga, Aresto Druid, and Dua, our disc priest, were the only ones W Hala told actively seek me out to see how I was doing, and eventually became my best and basically only free. End. Real life ties such as school friends I graduated with. I th romances. Says. Anything besides immediate family and guild mates suffered. Red. I was nearly alone in the world. RLD. Save for my druid and priest friends. NDS. Over time I became more and more unhealthy. Thy. Chugging empty and you and Dr. Pepper by the can. Can. Sometimes half a case a day. Day. My dad was almost strictly hot pockets and tortilla chips for a long while. I'll. Kuga and Duab saw me fall deeper and deeper into this gross pit of addiction. I'm. Until finally. LLY. One day. Day. They said they were both going. Out of town on the same day. So I thought well I don't want to be alone all day and didn't log on that day. And the next. And the next. And after waking up on that third day I sat back and took a long look at myself in the mirror. Sunken in. Sleep deprived eyes. Disgustingly dirty. Greasy hair and skin. Any signs of the physically fit body I had had in high school two years prior was gone. I was disgusted by myself. And so. I stopped. I didn't say goodbye. I didn't log on. Nobody knew what had happened to me for about three months. I'll let my wo w sub lapse. And eventually popped into Ventrilo to say hello slash explain myself. None of them were angry. To my great surprise. And each one of them wished me well on my future endeavors. I was so happy with the people of. Our guild. That I sat there. And cried like a. Child. I had no idea these people w harlot we're nearly strangers cared so much about me. And my well be. I. It truly felt like a fresh start. Art. Fast forward to today. Day. Six years I sh later. Dare. I'm in a happy. PPY. Healthy. Thy. Loving relationship. 
hip, in full time in school for I, R I T, I T and have a part time job that I'm using to save money for an apartment with my girlfriend later this year. I still play WoW, WoW, after coming back for the newest expansion. I am, but nowhere near the level of commitment I was once at. At, if addicted me could see where I'm at now. Now, he would scoff and call me a sellout probably. Bly. But I couldn't care less. S, because I know that I'm now far better off thanks to my family for assisting me once I recognized my problem. Lem, Kuga, Yuga, Duan, Ub, and all of my friends in. As, TL, Doctor, anything. I'm, even video games. Mez, can destroy your life, if you let it. It. Please click subscribe, if you enjoyed this video.